Incoming message. Back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be painting uh c u r b zero seven one five three otherwise known as kirby and he's the robot tech for the uh, mercenaries this is a picture of him it rather and there's the feats you can do and that's what we have so far this one I've painted white because it's predominantly white but we want to start off by giving him a wash all over of null oil so let's get cracking shall we and so it's an all over wash program activated it for that part and when we come back we'll start highlighting join us then right we're back and it is dry by the look of it I can't see any areas here where it's still glossy it feels okay so let us get on with painting. So we're going to start off first of all, we don't start off secondly, we start off first of all <laughs> using Administratum Grey. <clears throat> so we'll add some of that to our palette. Now then where's the, let me zoom out that little bit more on here then we can see where we are that's that I don't think we're going to need much of that to be honest but if we need any more we can always add some later on <clears throat> so let's grab our brush we'll give it a little bit of a dampenificating 
and we'll go into this and what we're doing here is we're painting all the flat areas um, like here for instance we're going over um, the brain switched off again we're going over on the flat areas avoiding all the crevices because we've just had the wash on there to bring to fill in the crevices we don't want to be going over with any other colour Right, that's it with the grey. Don't want to do much else with that. <coughs> the next one we'll be using is old habits die hard kind of routine, rough iron. I've just realised I do want to go back into the um, call it the grey because I haven't done the clams here so I'll do that now once again where there's a build up of the wash I will be avoiding painting that by build up of wash I mean in crevices the um, there's a build up on the top here which um, I don't count as being in a crevice because it's just leading to a point um, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to paint all of this area because it's supposed to be white and pointy you know what you're trying to paint and you can see it um, where there's like a joint there I'm not painting up to the joint I'm leaving a wee bit of the um, the wash that's the showing because Gave us a, a distinct separation from one part of the joint to the next. Now, here there is two different areas, 
so I'm being careful not to paint. <coughs> Oops, I have managed to go into where the wash is, but I can always come back and give it a slight. Um, fine wash. There we go. That's that bit. Uh, I've just noticed in there as well, need a quick going over once more. This is all that's going to happen with the inset underneath of it, for the most part, because there's no point in getting on work to cover it. <coughs> right, going into the rough iron now. A bit we put out earlier. And that is going to go under here. Not much of it needs going out because of the um, a split in the um, in the edge of the spout for this. Um, it came out in a bit of a rush. I'm also going to do the uh, little mechanical bits here as well on this pincer. And I think that is it for that. Uh, let's give it a good look. You have to be on the safe side. Yeah, everything is right on there. <coughs> now then. <coughs> I've got some paint out here from the paint I did yesterday of uh, Captain Delinsky, but we're not using all of those. Um, <coughs> there is one we will be using, which is this one, Abaddon Black. <coughs> I'll just add a little bit. We're not using a lot of this Abaddon Black, so I'm not putting a great deal of it on here. And the Abaddon Black I'm going to put into the into this area. And can also run into the crevice around it because that is a black wash that's in the so it's fine if that happens I'm not doing a great deal more with the black in fact I don't think I'm doing anything more with the black on this for the time being <coughs> When I do come see doing the black, I think it's going to be the base I'll use the black on. Okay, so now we need our spaceship exterior, which is here. <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm also going to get some of the. If I've got enough left to use, <coughs> um, Stormhost Silver. I'm going to have to check on this. I'm going to take that into there.
There we are, and we'll have some of the Starship Spaceship Exterior into this. Um, I'm not putting this on the pal pallet because I don't need to. I'm taking it straight off the straight out of the tub. Um, but I'm not using that big brush. <clears throat> I'm going to use this nice little one. And this is the one I'm going to use to add highlights now to this. So I'm not running the usual highlight routine that I do, um, which is directly from above because I think that could be wasted on this mini. But it's going to be as close to above as makes no odds. And I'm just going to curl it round like so. And as you can see, I'm not um, doing it everywhere. I'm going to have to leave in some of the um, grey showing through and I'm not doing all of this side area either it's going to be partly in fact I think I should I think I should do all of this at the moment and then build up from there because it's going to be like a matte paint um, sorry a, like a shiny shimmery paint highlights in a matte one and that's not going to look right so if I do it this way I can build up um, the shimmery paint and make it more, more and more paler as it goes on and then that would give the nice highlight to it that we're looking for this area here will be your shimmery paint oh yeah I'll do that as well <coughs> now I've done the main part of it. Again I'm going to use this to add the main colour for the arms and the little gizmos that's on the end of the arms. I don't know what that spiky thing is supposed to be. When we probe for hacking into computer systems. I've got a little grabber here as well. Um, I just realised I've not painted that area. I 
and so the grey was just to give it a, like a nice base colour to work with um, I needed I painted it I primed it white because I wanted to um, give it a good uh, what's the word I'm looking for to give it a wash and a good base for a wash and I think the white does it better than the grey um, now we'll do under here as well I'm not doing it everywhere underneath Oh yeah, so that's that part done. Next, <clears throat> we're going to take some more, some of this from here, add it over here, and add much more white. <clears throat> Hope that shows up nicely. Now we're going to run around the edge. Paler colour. There we are. Well, some areas of this are not going to look tremendously bright, others are going to. Um, I mean, as it stands, I'm going to be using uh, in fact, I'm going to be using little downward motions on this. Oops. Just so it's an, an uneven um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't particularly want it to be an even end here. I want it to look as though it's blending in and fading into the previous colour. There we go. Next, we'll do this area. Just making sure that any word that we've caught with any other colour, like for example in this case the black, gets um, covered up because we just want this incredibly pale grey at the moment. There we go. Now we'll do here add the white. Now on top of these arms and do with the white as well well it's not white it's a paler grey and we have we're not I am going to heavy with this because we want to have some more pale grey um, going very soon in fact we're going to be adding more of the white shade 
to this. to get it so that that's at the edge that's much better we'll keep carrying on touching up areas where we think the this paler colour is going to be more white into here and it's going to be virtually white it's going to add a touch of the um, stormhold silver into it as well just to give it that shimmer <clears throat> um, I put too much in so I'm just going to use some more of the uh, spaceship interior exterior sorry and this is where we get very very spurring with the paint that we put on It's going to go down here. This is what kind of like an edge highlight. What we're doing here, but it isn't really. <laughs> um, to just have a little areas around here and in the middle of this hopefully can be seen Oops. the I'm going to do a little dotted line around there of dots and little stripes but the principle basically is that we're still pulling it on and sometimes the brush we can accidentally just press a little bit too hard and it's a little dash instead of a dot but it's all going to add to it just so long as we remember not to go onto the top area <coughs> we'll add um, So we'll add the um, some little um, dot areas 
Okay, we can we think the weight is going to hit. That is virtually finished. There's just a few odd areas that we need to do, as well as that big black thing in the middle of its, what we shall call its face. <coughs> so for that we're going to use one that we used for, well, we actually started to use for um, a previous video, but changed my mind, didn't use it. Sotec Green. First, I'm going to go back in with the black first off because it's looking a little patchy at the moment. So we'll take some of the black and then pop it on there. And we'll run over. And I'm hoping to God you can hear the music that's playing in the background. That looks better. Well, I'm waiting for that to dry. Um, I want to delve into the realms of stupidity with the. Now, incredibly dry um, Stormhold Silver. I just run over. It's not a dry brush, it's just. very light covering with the stormhole silver there and the stormhole silver here that will do now <clears throat> going into the salt at green like I showed you earlier I'll pop some of that on the palette And I'm going to try and do freehand so this is taking lots of concentration I'm trying freehand a circle in the middle of this I'm going to change my mind almost for an oval instead like it would be an eye is the base colour next we're going to add a touch of the white into it and I know it's not white but it's near as damn it white and we're going to add a bit in the middle And before we leave that, you have got to get a bit more of the normal sort of green on the brush and just go around the very edge once more. Just 
suit widen it slightly and shape the pale one that we've put on And now the fun part, so you can do this right. I'm going to the white, and we'll do around down the middle. There we are. Now when I've dry brushed, not when I've dry brushed, when I've uh, finished painting this, there will be, um, <clears throat> what I want to do first of all, before I think of anything else, is I'm going to paint this white. I am determined that I'm going to get a flying base for this see-through rod of some description. But until we do that, it's going to be the same similar colour base to what we did for um, Erica Dolinsky and that's a, a marbled kind of dark grey. Program activated. I don't want any pure black showing. It's going to be a blend of the colours. That will do nicely. Um, other than the fact that I need to get into the Starship exterior once more, I just need a little bit just on the brush. So just go over the base because I have, as you can see, splashed halfway up the base with my clumsy brushwork, my intentionally clumsy brushwork. But as I said, that's not going to be staying on for too long. But there we have it. That's Kirby for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. give you a quick look that's him I haven't got his card close by so I can't actually show you at the moment um, but there he is I hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope you're staying safe and doing what you're told and uh, enjoying the time that you've got rather than stressing out over the fact that you can't go out anywhere um, spend time with the loved ones spend time creating stuff spend time reading getting the place to cleaned up and tidied up you know get yourself organized but most importantly don't stress out all the things it's not worth it you've got the time to relax and do what you need to do and recharge yourself ready to start back um, when all this is over but for now take care god bless and bye for now
Mission complete.
Program activated.